Hey, it's Jabo. Welcome to Trains Are Fun. We're going to be looking at another Lego Duplo Thomas and Friends set. This is set 5547. James celebrates Sodor Day all by himself with nobody else except for Top and Hat. It is probably one of the worst celebrations in the history of Sodor, uh, but Lego has made it um, <laughs> here. I, I did a better version of it, I think. Uh, back in the day, maybe about 10 years ago, on my LEGO channel, Brigzar, I did a video feature in this set, but I felt bad for James being all by himself, so we put all the other characters in there. The video did quite well for the day. I'll try to remember to put a link to it, but uh, this is a, a one of the... I don't know if it's a harder-to-find set, but it's a pretty special one, even though it's missing track. But just that you get this little celebration thing, you get the station, you get this tower, you get... There's really not much to this set. Why am I so excited? Um, it does go along with the Morgan Mine and Stanley, so this means it's from the later run, which means, if I'm right, it's going to be like 2008, 2009 on the date. We'll turn this thing over and look. Yep, 2009. So this is when... The Thomas and Friends license was about to be gone, and we wouldn't get any more Thomas and Friends Lego sets ever again. Uh, so this one looks like somebody has already assembled uh, the tender. That's pretty easy. Let's see if we can put James together. We've done that before. There's two pieces right there. Uh, there's... oh. Very good. And I have... Uh, so this week, my... My grandson has come over, and I've let him experience Mega Blocks. He hasn't got to play with the, the the Lego ones yet, but the Mega Blocks I don't think are durable enough for kids. Even though they were supposedly designed for kids, they fall apart. He was getting very frustrated uh, with Thomas because Thomas would just fall apart in his hand. He wasn't trying to take it apart. That's one thing I thought he would try to take them apart, and I'm sure he would do that at some point anyway. But yeah, he didn't like that they kept falling apart on him. And I think this is one of those sets that doesn't come with instructions. Uh, yeah, the other ones were big sets. Let's, oh, no. It does come with instructions. I forgot. We have an instruction manual with this one. Mine's a little wrinkly. What do they feature in this instruction manual? Oh, how to build the building. I could pretty much build that from looking at the picture like you have to do with all the other sets. We got the printed piece that goes on the end there. And then they got the... Oh, wait a minute. It actually, I guess I do need the instructions. So we're going to build a little station down by the station early in the morning. Oh, here we go. So this, yeah, there's not much to it. This, so which station is that? Is that all there is to it? What else do they have in here? And how to, oh, how to build the tower. So they show how to build the tower. Which, again, I could probably have done that by looking at the picture. But, uh, yeah, there's only like four sets, I think, maybe, that have even have instructions for uh, the Thomas and Friends. Oh, no. Where's the other piece? There it is. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Boom. The tower. So we got the station, the tower. We got the blue brick with a flower on it. You can put Sir Topham hat. It's the same Sir Topham hat from the Spencer set, I think. Uh-oh. Let's tell you what. Oh. <laughs> let's put him on the celebratory stand here. All right. We are celebrating Sodor Day. There's nobody else here except for James, and he doesn't even have track. It's so sad. <laughs> but yeah, that's all there is. What did this set cost back in the day? Do I have a price tag on this box? Oh my goodness. It's a big box, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this set. Uh, and there's the final picture. Did I build it right? It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> James celebrating Sodor Day. Well, we can't have him be alone, so let's bring over a Megablocks thing 
Here's Mega Bloks, James. He's um, a little smaller. Then we got Giant Mega Bloks, James. This one I can never remember. I'm pretty sure that piece goes like that to match that. I think this piece goes like that. You can turn it around. I think that's wrong, right? Tell me, tell me that it goes this way, correct? But yeah, he's a little bit taller than that one. So I don't know, James, we'll just call it James Celebrates James Day <laughs> on the island of Sodor. I don't know why they didn't include track with this one, but uh, yeah, this is the, the, one of the last sets they made, and it's kind of sad. So I went over and checked BrickLink to see what the average sale price. This thing hasn't sold there in the last six months, so I don't know what it sold for the last time. There's not many of these on eBay. Uh, the cheapest one for sale that sealed, like I got a sealed copy here. Yeah, this is my my sealed one. It's um, the cheapest one sealed on on uh, Bricklink is one hundred and thirty five dollars. Somebody's got one for four hundred. None have sold in the last six months, so clearly that's kind of a high price. But I wouldn't be surprised if somebody p would pay a hundred dollars for a sealed one like this. But I'm not selling mine. I'm keeping mine. I'm keeping that one. <laughs> I don't have very many sealed uh, Thomas and Friends set. In fact, I, I once I got all these boxes, I thought maybe I should have sealed versions of all these. But I just opened that one when I got it. <laughs> it's still got sealed sets in it. So th there's sealed sets in there and there's sealed sets in here. So this is the 13th episode. We got three more Thomas and Friends sets to look at. We got the big tunnel set there, this tunnel set. And then that'll be the next one we'll look at, the Thomas Load and Carry Train. And I might, well, I need to look at the uh, store display too, but that'll be coming up. But anyway, thanks for watching another uh, video about these Thomas and Friends Duplo sets. One of my favorite things in my collection, and I do wish that LEGO would get the license again. They're so, in, Mattel and Thomas and Friends are so ingrained that I don't think we ever will. But can't Mattel and Lego just get along? Can they all just get along and cooperate? The Mega Block stuff. I got a uh, sidetrack. This is not train. So I built this. This is Mega Blocks. It's not as good as I had hoped. And I, I gotta, I'll have a video on this on my original channel soon. But um, if Lego would work with Mega Blocks, not Mega Block, Mattel instead, because I think Mattel took over the Mega brand. So you see Mega on a lot of these Mattel things. Um, but I kind of wish Lego and Hot Wheels and Mattel would all just work together. And we could get some really cool products. But no, we don't. So we'll just be stuck with my comparison here. And I'll see you in the next video.